What's up guys, it's your favorite Martian here and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial guys. In today's tutorial, I am going to be showing you guys a nice compact chicken farm. A completely AF cable and automatic and all sorts of the ways and stuff and things. So, I did get this off of someone. Or it, it, it was a, bas it's basically the exact same sign just with a little less stuff and things i believe um i'll go ahead and leave a link to their channel in the description and their video that they used as well um i only, i think i only added maybe just a couple things of my own uh but that's about it so let's talk about what's going on right here so we got the babies or the chickens being uh hatched right here the eggs are being tossed out right there then we got a lava blade sitting up there in this dispenser here. We got the chicken chamber around the back covered in fence gates just to take up less space or trap doors to take up less space. We got two observers and a comparator detecting whenever a item passes this hopper here. And then once it does, it shoots out a signal into this block, which activates the egg. And then we got a hopper minecart on a rail with a hopper and a chest. So that's it. So all you need is you need some building blocks. You need about four stone brick slabs, two glass, which you don't have to have a glass if you don't want it, or you can just have one to be honest. You don't really need all that. And then you need one chest, one hopper, one comparator, one rail, one hopper minecart. So technically two hoppers. You need nine trap doors or uh twelve if you're feeling feisty. You got two observers two dispensers, lava bucket, and a lever. So I actually made two separate ones. Well, they're the exact same version, but this one is just based with no filter down here at the bottom. So you'll get all the feathers and cooked chicken and whatnot. But this one here has the filter at the bottom of it. So it is filtering out feathers. I think I just clicked that. Yeah, so it is filtering out the feathers. So only chicken will go into here and you don't have to worry about it. Um, I do need to figure out how to make a kill switch. I, I should probably do that. You could probably honestly just put a lever here and just power the dispenser and then no more would go. But then you'll also have the problem where some things will, chickens will keep on laying eggs. So it, if anything, what you could, could do is probably just take out the hopper mine cart and uh, kill the slab and the slab or the lava will start flowing down. All right, but yeah, so let's go ahead and get right into it real quick real real quick so now first things first is i'm going to actually build this version right here for you guys it is a little bit more complicated and um, i did not call out for the materials for this but you will need two comparators two repeaters one redstone torch one two three four five six seven eight redstone dust a dispenser or dropper two hoppers and just some more building blocks but that that's it okay so let's go ahead and let's actually get started on building this and i need my building blocks bada bing bada boom so we're actually going to build it just a couple off the ground just to make it a little bit easier for us just just slightly let's go up actually one more jump thank you okay Go into there, and then now we need torch. Where are you? Torch with hopper going into there, and this hopper is going to be pointing into. We'll change it to a dropper. You want to make the dropper face down, and then now you don't have to build this little foundation here. I just do it so it looks nice, and then you want to get a lava bucket. You'll actually need two lava buckets if you do it this way. Looks like I already got one. You just place your lava there, close up the edges here. This should be fine. It, uh, the items should not really dispense out this way. If it does, they will despawn within you know a matter of five minutes. So it won't be too, too bad. I'm gonna keep on referencing this because I keep forgetting how to build these things. I honestly, I just don't build them. It's been such a long time. So I've actually had to build an item sorter. Don't know. I should probably get back into doing some more redstone stuff, but hey ho. 
It is what it is. I need redstone. I thought I grabbed it. Guess not. Because I didn't need it. Lol. Okay, so that is the item sorter done and dusted right there. All you want to do is you want to put in some filler blocks, which it is 17 and 3. And then you get your item that you want to filter. I don't need those. And then you can just put, uh, I believe it's 2. Yes, yeah, two that's in there. Okay, and then now you need to build the system in which it will be dispensing out the good old fashion. Oh, I already have a compare clock, clockity clock. Okay, so this one it's a little bit, it's a little bit finicky just because if you you'll have the floor. Let's see, you could have the floor at two different levels. You could have the floor either right here, and then you would just need to change this to a stair, and then you'll be able to access the chest, or you can have the floor right there. The way I did it is I made the floor right there, and then I had to do this little loop around, but if you, I had the floor up here, you wouldn't actually need to do that loop around. You would actually just need to run the redstone up like that, and then that would be it. So then you could have the floor right there. Just as simple as that. But I'm gonna do the original way that I did it so that way you can make this uh, flush with the floor. Just a couple extra redstone and an extra repeater is all. So that's it, that's the whole item filter and everything with it. So now we can go ahead and go on with building the actual farm. So now you just wanna put your chest there, a hopper going into the chest, a rail on top of the hopper, and then you wanna take that hopper minecart you made and you want to place it on top of the tracks there now you can get rid of those couple things because obviously we don't need them anymore so now you just want to build like a little cage around this hopper minecart just so that way you don't move it just to be safe and you want to go ahead and grab your two pieces of stained glass and go ahead and place them right like that now you will need one half slab you place it right on top of the hopper minecart and then now you place one dispenser on one side and then you want to go up a block on the other side and place your other dispenser now this dispenser that's a block higher will take the lava so you can go ahead and put the lava in there this one will be the eggs now this hopper that has the eggs in you are going to build a two wide hopper chain that's just one pointing into the dispenser and one pointing into the other hopper now this is going to be your chicken chamber your little chamber of, of chickens, chamber of secrets, you know, you know what I mean, mean dog? <gasps> no, I mean, just kidding. So now we can place our fence gates. So let me make it uh, daytime again real quick. Nobody likes the night. I should have probably put it on unlimited night or day cycle, whatever. All right, so now you just want to try to get all the different trap doors in place and try not to delete all of them. Because I don't know how to play Minecraft. And then bada bing, bada boom, you're technically done. You just got to put in just a couple blocks. Just one there, one here. And then whenever you do dispense your lava, you will get visual visual glitches that all the, like this stuff and whatnot can catch on fire. In order to stop that, I usually just take the stone, stone slabs and I just slab it off up here. Or you can make some extra fence or uh, trap doors and then you can just trap door it off either way works same exact thing you want to just get your lever put it right here bam and that is not it because i completely forgot about the observers i am very sorry guys i'm very sorry it's not an observer it's an observer so you want to go to where the dispenser is that is facing into or the hopper that is facing into the dispenser and you want to go one block down on the outside of it and then you want to face a observer going down now once you face that observer going down you want to take out this block that's right underneath the hopper and then you want to look directly at the dispenser on uh, the right side here and you want to place a observer facing inwards to that then you just want to place a redstone comparator up here and that's it now it'll detect whenever an item passes into here it'll click there for a block update this will make it into a signal another signal 
and then it'll power this block which powers the dispenser and that is it guys that is the completely automatic af cable chicken farm that you can do with an item filter now admittedly the item filter is a little bit bigger but like i said if you just want to raise the floor up one you can actually just do it like this it makes it just a tad bit smaller but not much um i don't really know how else to do it this way there might be a better way um you guys would have to let me know I'm not 100 percent sure if you do that would be great definitely leave a comment and let me know if there's anything that i can improve on maybe for the next one i will definitely make a much better one i'll try to make it a little bit more compact if i can but i think this is just about as small as you can get it so if you guys enjoyed this video and you want to see some more, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for some more Minecraft. And I will see you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.